Right, so we got this 525 bounty builder on the go. I've been absolutely mopping up the bounty so far. We've got 1.6. Oh, we get a button shove. And yeah, I mean, we've got a call. Like, he's going to be shoving worse than Ace 8 for sure. Yeah, Ace 3. Come on. Wrapped up on the flop. Let's go. Man, we, we are winning this tournament. I tell you that now. Literally, I've just been winning every single bounty hand that's been class. Oh yeah, we're number one, baby. <sighs> wow. I accidentally opened this for, to a weird sizing, but we've just flopped the absolute dream. We'll start betting. A slightly dodgy turn card. I was actually going to go for a bit of a bigger sizing. We'll still bet this turn, though. You're just not going to, you know, size up crazy on, on this turn card. I will expect to see quite a few... Oh my god, are you joking me? We flop. Wow. And then this is the run out. I mean, that is just horrendous. We just got to check and like hope he gives up on a 7-6, a, a, a jack-10. Ah, That's uh, pretty annoying, but I mean, we can't help the run out. We, we were very unlucky. We're getting close to the final table now. Being big stack, I can put a load of pressure on. So we're going to raise this guy with a king-queen. But even with the bounty, we, we would just be folding if he shoves. Because especially when we're close to the FT, he's not going to be making any any crazy shoves. I guess king-queen suited, I'd probably have to call. Mm. Well, let's hope he just had some suited stuff and get a fold on the flop. Just don't want to see a shove. That's not good. Pocket nines is definitely something he could have as well. I don't think this is a turn card where we, we want a barrel, unfortunately. Let's hope just to hit a king or queen on the river. Yeah, nah. what a load of rubbish this, these last couple hands have been. Yeah, he shoves. He's, he's probably just got nines or, or pocket sevens there, I reckon. Maybe trap aces, but less likely. Okay, I could limp this one. I'm actually just going to go for 3x. I hope he raises us. Um, I mean, what the hell do I do? I guess bet flop, check turn, depending on what it is. Like, you know, it is tempting to just check this flop, but then it also could look kind of predictable if he starts betting out and then I'm raising. But I think... A check here works quite nicely. Hopefully he just bluffs some of his draws, in which case we'd be raising if he does. Oh, wow. He bets big. This is starting to look like set over set here. He definitely could just be like piling on loads of pressure with draws. Mind you, our line here looks, looks seriously strong now. Um, I mean... Do I just check this now? I guess I just check because what does he call flop and then bet that big with on the turn that doesn't shove river? Like if he has pocket fives, you know, he's not checking that back. Everything he has for value, he just fires all in on this river anyway. And so check is just a play because if he's just completely missed his draws, then it gives him the chance to just bluff these. So yeah, I just think check this river is just the, the play we've got to do. Yeah, exactly. It's just got a complete bluff. I, I literally could not have played that any better. Like that, <laughs> that was just unreal the way we played that. Like just didn't make sense for us to be shoving that river ourselves because all his value he's shoving that that calls our raise on the turn and then you're just left with his bluffs and it gives him a chance just to, to bluff off his 6-3 like he did. Okay, we've got kings. We don't mind playing for some bounties here. The ideal situation would... Oh, okay. He, ra he doesn't shove. He just raises, which is either probably means that he's got something very strong or he's just got something that he wants to get away from because when he's got a 1k bounty... Even like his, his jacks, queens, you, you tend to see quite a lot of shoving just because people play wider for the bounties and, he, he, you know, sometimes you just want to get all the money in. Nevertheless, we'll be, we'll be raising. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just one of those where he wants to get away from. Being second in chips, we're going to be opening wider and also with king nine, we don't mind going all in for, for seven big blinds for a 1k bounty think with possibly some stronger hands we'll be checking back but i think king nine will just bet and hope to just get a flop fold which we do this guy is a serious nit 
this um, Sergi guy just shoved. We were sitting on like four big blinds and he just shoved and this guy folded. Like you should be calling any two for a 1K bouncy with, with four big blinds. Uh, we'll just check this back. Uh, I'm still going to be calling this turn back. Yeah, not a good run out there. I mean, once he checks it over, it's, it's possible we may be ahead. I don't know. I attempted to bluff, but... Yeah, I don't think we necessarily needed to. Like, we did... Pro like, it's always getting that balance between whether you have enough showdown. Like, just because you've got showdown doesn't mean you can't bluff. But in that spot, it was kind of one where, is it really worth bluffing? Like, and it, it turned out we were ahead anyway. Okay, we'll raise the queen nine. Great flop. I'm just going to check this over and then bet turn. Go for a delayed C bet. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not a good turn card now. Pose with the ace on the turn, I, I just want to be checking this over again once he checks turn though, and and flop as well, then we we definitely just want to be betting small probably on this river card. Hope to get a call from. Oh, he snaps quite quickly. Queen. Oh, wow, well, queen ten. I mean, we lost the minimum there, which is good. I think this guy's probably opening, going to be opening quite loose when he's opening into this this big blind with the bounty and just sitting on five big blinds. So I'm going to put in a three bet, pile on a bit of pressure. Man, he calls and we get a, a horrendous flop. Let's just hope he's completely missed this. Okay, he doesn't snap fold. Oh, we do get a fold, nice. So he completely missed as well. Oh, this could be a nice spot. Button shoves. And we just get a fold. Like if he shoved, we, we can't just call because there's, there's too much on the line. Oh, okay. Man, he has three big blinds and he, he wakes up with ace queen. I like I was thinking our a seven there was was gonna be good. <sighs> to be honest, it's tempting to shove nines, but I actually quite like just raising it because for a three k bounty, I'd happily just let him shove and call off. Like I think lower pocket pairs, you just want to be shoving, but I think nines gets to the point where it's strong enough just to be opening and uh, hope that they shove. Oh, we see a shove and a call. Ace King versus Jax. Okay, looks as though we're getting to the final table. Unless it's a 10, of course. And it's not. We have made another final table. Third one in two days, let's go. Okay, we get a small blind call. Good flop, we got a gut shot. Okay, so we hit the, the pair on the turn. I think check back is perfectly reasonable, but also betting small, I'm still gonna get called off some of his pocket pairs with a diamond. And yeah, he folds anyway on the turn. I don't wanna be engaging too much with a, a strong player uh, when he's one of the big stacks. So we're, we're definitely just calling King Jack suited. Once he checks back this flop, he can definitely have quite a few like eights, nines type hands, which are definitely going to be one of calling because I'm going to have a lot of stabs on this turn card. So I think we're definitely going to want to be betting this one. I kind of don't know whether to just trap this one. I think we'll just go half pot, leave him potentially open to raising. And also with this bet, we may still potentially get a call off like eights or nines. Yeah, he calls. Ace five, wow, yeah. I mean, I, I sensed that he wasn't very strong at all, which is why I didn't go too crazy with the sizing. Like I was thinking originally, I'm gonna bet 75% or pot. But again, the way the hand had played out, it just didn't seem as though he was that strong. So I just went for the 50% the size. I mean, you know, I didn't need to go too small because there's plenty of draws out there that have missed that we could have. So I think the half pot was actually like, it's not gonna be a GTO sizing, I'm sure, but I think it, it was the, the perfect sizing for this situation. Okay, we see the first all in of the night, ace 10 versus ace, ace 10. Oh. Oh, wow, very unlucky for this player. Okay, so our first pay jump down to the last six now. Certainly gonna be three bet in this one. It's quite a grim spot, like we've got to cool off if he shoves, but yeah, pretty horrible. Oh wow, big spot here. We see an all-in from some of the... Oh, 
fours versus kick. To be honest, I would have definitely just folded this from Juan Dominguez. Like, this guy's really tight and what is he like he's never just put in like a huge draw shove there at this final table surely like under normal circumstances then yeah you've got to snap it off with kings but i think you've just got to assess the situation like the kings was never good there oh we see another all in here ace jack versus ace 10. oh and he just flops the nuts So, I mean, we get a pay jump, which is always good, but we don't pick up the 2k bounty. We would have liked if the ace-10 would have won because it would have just left this guy on a tiny stack and then we could have played for his bounty. Nevertheless, we're up to 10k. Great flop for the queen-jack. This is about as dry board as it can get. Just going for a third is nice with the queen-jack. There's no need to be firing big on such a board. Still a fairly cleanish turn card. We're going to size up to 75%. Still going to get called by some weaker jacks. Maybe a seven's going to be a bit sticky. Interesting. He calls. I, to be honest, I think like he's still going to just have some flats pre-flop with, with king jacks, ace jacks. I think we'll just play safe and check. Yeah, ace jack. Damn. We're now sitting, uh, yeah, we're definitely the short stack now. Bit of a setup on that last hand, really. We didn't do anything wrong. This guy from the button opens and we get a big blind raise. I tell you what would be ideal right now when we've just lost a big pot is to see these two stacks go all in. You're definitely going to see some checks on this board. Yeah, he does check and he does stab. The ace on the turn now, he could potentially have a lead in range. Yeah, so he does start to lead, which which does make sense. Oh, and he tanks for ages and then just folds. Okay, eight, blind v blind. This is this is pretty ideal. Happy just to be going all in with this one. This guy does limp, which kind of means if he calls us, I expect him to be pretty strong. But yeah, just get the fold. To be honest with you, Due to the fact that, you know, we're, we're trying to just play for this pay jump when we've got two stacks which are quite a bit bigger. With ace-queen off, I think this just wants to be shoved. Oh, we get called. Jack-10. Jack Yeah, I mean, unfortunate losing with the ace queen at the end there. Nothing we could do. But yeah, another good score. 14k, not bad for a Monday night. So thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.